everybody, it's Jacob with Living Waters Landscaping. Today we're gonna to be creating a bubbling boulder fountain out of this large boulder right here. I'm gonna show you a little bit about that process here as we move forward. We picked out this um, really nice boulder here because it had a lot of character and different spots for the water to fall off it. Um, what we're gonna do here, that marked out a little line, you probably can't see it. I'm gonna bowl this out here at the top a little bit and then core drill it so the water will fill up in a little reservoir there and flow out over all these different sides. Now I'm doing this in my trailer at the shop so I can just drive it right to the job site, grab it with the machine and set it on the basin. I'll show you that whenever we get there. Here's a couple tools we have um, that we're gonna need for this job. Obviously we have uh, cut off saws here. We got a little DeWalt saw here so we can shave out and bowl out the top of that boulder. And then we got a cup grinder too and obviously the two inch diamond uh, core bit um, with the water attachment, very crucial. So let's check it out and see what happens. All right, so we got this kind of scored out here into a kind of a bowl shape and we're just gonna start chiseling all these little chunks out and then polish it up and then drill the hole in the middle. Alright, you can see here now we got this bowl mostly shaped out here. Not too big, just a little bit to get a little pool of water so it can flow out the edges here. Now we're just going to polish it up on the sides. Depending on the type of stone, you can finish this with some diamond polishing or whatever. This is a sandstone, so it doesn't really matter too much. Um, unless somebody else knows a trick that I don't. But it's kind of nice to realize this has this natural ridge here on that side that whenever this bowls up, most of the water is gonna push this way, which will actually be nice because it can hit this little ledge here and that ledge there. And no water can go out the back because it's gonna be up against the house when we install it. So it should be fun. We got our bowl all polished out here. We are ready to drill. Obviously you can finish this with some different grit diamond pads if you want, but on the sandstone, you usually don't do that. Core drill, water attach. You really just want a little bit of water coming out so it comes out kind of looking like um, coffee with cream and uh, too much water slows it down. Too little water burns up your bit. Too much pressure burns up your bit, too little pressure. Um, takes forever so let's check it out and extension bit if we need it probably won't I got about two feet there and I dropped down about a few inches we'll see anyways core drilling always want to make sure you have the correct amount of water and pressure all right here comes the long and tedious part of drilling this probably about three or four hours right now and I'd love to film all that for you but I ain't gonna I'll give you a little time lapse So I might have to come back tomorrow, it's starting to get dark, sun's going down, at least it's a nice day. So we had to put the extension um, on that bit, because we were getting too close, my handle was hitting the rock there. Um, the other thing is a lot of people ask is about the core, how do you get that out? A lot of times it'll just break off inside the bit, you can pull it off and you can feel it shaking around a little bit in there, so you pull that out. If it doesn't break off, sometimes if it gets too close down to the bit end, you just got to put a screwdriver or chisel in there and chip it off and then try and pull it out with the bit. Um, but typically it breaks off in little pieces. And what else? Oh, this stone. Yeah, my bit's starting to slow down a little bit now. I actually called the company and told them to exactly what type of stone I was working with. And they had a special diamond bond bit for this specific stone. So that's important depending on what type of stone you're using. Uh, Sesco 
um, is who I go. All right, I lost part of that last video there. What I was trying to say was Sesco Tools is a great place to find core bits and drills for all your Boulder Fountain projects. And now we're heading out to install this fountain on this uh, cold November morning. Check it out. All right, we got our fountain basin dug in and leveled out, ready for our boulder. So that'll be nice with the pumps down in there and we'll it out and set the boulder right here. Put a little bit of river rock around the edges and top of that. And we got a pretty nice view out here. A real sweet spot to be working. So check back tomorrow, we should have this up and running. Everybody, we're back here. We got our boulder strapped and ready to go. It's all carved out, got the hole drilled in it. Just got our plumbing set. And now we gotta set this boulder. I think I was overthinking this a little bit. The boulder's a lot bigger um, than the basin. So I'm gonna have to put a skirt on it. And basically wrap some line around the edge so any water that spills out will still drop back into the basin so we're not losing any water. So, I think it's going to be pretty nice. Alright, we got it wrapped up. Water is flowing, it looks great. Love how this one came out. Great sound. Good flow over all directions except for in the back, which is what I was wanting. So, super happy with this. Client super happy. Unfortunately, the lighting's pretty bad right now. I wanted to get a couple good pictures, but that happens. But that's the finished product. <laughs>